G'day, it's Aiden from Springer Solar. We've got another epic solar edge system we want to show you here on the north side of Brisbane. Here we have a 26 kilowatt solar system balanced across two phase. We've got a couple of batteries, EV charger, immersion controller, and some other fruit mixed in. This was a three day install, two phase property. We've got a lot of data here. This has been installed for a couple of months. Let's go and check it out. So when I met with this customer, he had some concerns about his rising power bills. Uh, he's got a large house, he's got a big hobby shop, pool, couple of hot water systems, big air con, looking at buying an EV. He'd done some of his own research, found that he wanted a system that was smart, that was modular. He loved the idea of the batteries. He loved the monitoring platform that was put forward. He also wasn't overly concerned about feed-in tariffs and export to grid and really wanted to maximize self-consumption on this project. This property has a 26.4 kilowatt hour solar system made up of Canadian N-type 440 watt modules. We have two 10 kilowatt solar inverters, one solar edge energy hub and one solar edge Genesis. Two solar edge home batteries, both 10 kilowatt hour and a third to be installed. We have the solar edge single phase EV charger set to 32 amps for self consumption. We also have the Solar Edge Immersion Controller handling self-consumption for both hot water systems. So the reason we've gone with two 10 kilowatt inverters here is this is a two-phase property. It's pretty uncommon now, but we do find them in properties of this age. Uh, we have an energy hub on one phase handling our battery and our backup. And then we have the Genesis here as a grid connected inverter. Now with the batteries, this is a scalable system. We have Two batteries currently on the energy hub, about to install a third, but if we really wanted to, we could install up to another three on the Genesis. We just don't have backup capability there. So one of the beautiful things about the Solar Edge ecosystem is it prioritizes self-consumption through automation before energy goes to the grid. Let's have a look at this. So specifically here, we're looking at functionality of the battery with its battery modes and the best way that you can make it applicable to your case. Here we can see that you can set this system for maximizing self-consumption, which is specifically using the energy that has been put in the battery. We also have time of use functionality, meaning that you can set the times where that battery charges and discharges to suit your use case best. We have manual control. You can turn it on and off when you want or backup only, meaning that if you feel that there's a blackout, you can set that to 100% and keep yourself safe with all of your battery there to use later on. So as we previously mentioned, we've got a ton of data now as this system's been on for a couple of months. Let's have a look at how it's performing. Just wanna have a quick look through some of the production data and then we'll talk about the consumption on this site. As we can see on the production side, as this curves up, we're looking at the system ramping up and we've got a few different ways that that energy gets allocated on this site. As we can see here, if we look at the house consuming energy here, we can look at where the system is prioritizing energy into the battery and then a tiny little bit of grid export on top. Now on the consumption side, we can see how much of the consumption on site comes specifically from the solar. So in the day when the sun's out, we're shining away, the house is drawing some energy for hot water, air cons, and as we mentioned also consumption to the new EV. Then we can look at how the energy in the property is drawing down on the batteries. As we can see, most of the battery energy consumption is happening from about four o'clock in the afternoon, there's a lot of cases where these two batteries are getting this customer the whole way through the night. The reason he's adding a third is he just wants to make sure that he gets from that tiny little bit to having complete and overall self-sufficiency with this system. Then again, as we said, there's a little bit of energy that comes out of the grid because the batteries taper off, say four o'clock in the morning. Let's have a look at the layout of this system. There's a couple of things here that are a bit different, again, to some other jobs we've done. Here you can see in our layout tab, this is how this system's laid out on the roof. 
We've got some panels on the northeast, and then as you can see, there's a big array on the south. Why south? Because it was a viable roof here. This customer obviously didn't have a big east or a big west we could use. His priority was getting as much solar on this property as he could, so we chose the south because we knew that in summer, we'd get some great performance out of it, and in the lower months in winter, he'd still get energy out of it. Something else interesting that we want to have a quick look at is the relationship of the EV charger self-consumption versus the power of the inverters. So if we have a look here, we can see a bunch of lines. It's not really interesting until we actually explain it. Here we have the two inverters. This is as they're operating, ramping up and down around what the energy is available coming out of the panels. Now, if we have a look at this blue line, this is when the EV charger is triggering itself based on what the inverters are able to produce. And if we have a look at these together, you can see that these blue lines are kept cleanly under what the energy is being produced out of the solar system. And it is charging the car from the excess energy instead of selling it. So, so far we've been really happy with this system. We also know that the customer is too. He loves the app. He's really digging into the data and he's been really impressed with how much of his own energy he can use, but how much potential this system has in the future. This customer was referred by a friend. He really wanted somebody that could deliver on all of the aspects, tick all of the boxes that he had in front of him to do this. We were so happy to partner this is our specialty. We love to deliver projects like this throughout South East Queensland. Please like and subscribe to our socials and our YouTube channel. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one.